Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with my buys and buys for the second quarter. I have a lot of things spread out here in front of me as well as the things that I purchased or acquired over on my other table. So I'm gonna get into the things that have come into my collection and the things that are going out of my collection by means of I use them or I'm decluttering them within the second quarter. So stay tuned. Okay, let me get into the makeup items first. Um, well, makeup, yeah, makeup items. The first thing I have here is this Pretty Fresh ColourPop Hydrated ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation Mini. It looks like there's foundation still left in here, but I've scraped and scraped and I can't really get anything else out of here. So this is all just kind of coating the sides, but I can see through it. I can see through the bottom. This is the shade Light 50W. It was fine for camera, but it's definitely not fine to go outside in public with. It makes me look really orange. So I'm totally glad that this is finished. The second item that I have finished is my Tarte Fake Awake Pencil. I'm so glad. This took me like forever, a year and something to finish this off. It's done. And currently I'm using the Essence um, Nude Liner instead of this. And I really like that a lot better. It's a lot silkier. It goes on nicer. I feel like it looks better. It's a better color for me. So that's good considering the Essence one is a couple bucks and this is like 20 bucks. So, but that's a finish. And then last but not least, I have my e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. This is a finish as well for the makeup category. Let me get into the things that I'm decluttering. The first thing is this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. This is supposed to grip, perfect, moisturize, whatever. I did not like this. It made my foundation pill up. I use other gripping primers and I like them a lot better, but this one, like I said, it makes my makeup grip and pill, or pill. And I've tried many different foundations. Um, alongside this. I've tried other primers with this. I've, I feel like I've tried everything and nothing is working. So this will be decluttered as well, or that will be decluttered. I'm getting rid of a couple of um, mascaras. The first two are Grande mascaras, and I'm really bummed about this. This is a lesson in use the expensive stuff you have while you have it like right away. These two are going in the garbage because I can't even pull the wand out. It's completely like just coated. And same thing, I can't even get back in there. Same thing with this other one. It's like totally yuck city. Oh my God, I can't even get it out. So garbage, garbage. Then I have the Touch and Soul Stretch X Stretch Lash Effect Mascara. This did nothing for my lashes, nothing. I felt like I was just putting water on them. So this is going in the garbage. And then my, oh, this is an empty. Lash Edol, my Lancome Lash Edol. I use this um, and it was okay. I usually like spiky wands like this, but this one, I think it's because it was like two different sizes. I kept bonking myself in the eye and um, I didn't like it, but I did use it for the whole month and now it is an empty. So yay. Um, so then I have a couple like eye pencil type things. These are four unique eyeliners that I've had in my collection since like 2010. They need to go, they've been sitting here. I haven't even really used them and that's just gross. So these are going in the garbage. Then I'm also decluttering this ColourPop Color Stick. This is in the shade Free Time. It just is a little bit like rough to go on my eyelids. It doesn't like go on smoothly. And so I feel like it's constantly tugging and I didn't like it. So I used it in a project I was using it in um, as long as I could use it. And then um, I used it for the amount of times I was supposed to. And then I just decided to declutter it. Um, some lippies. I have a bunch of lippies I'm decluttering. Um, and I've talked about all of these in projects. The first one is the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. It tastes gross. It's it's done and needs to go in the garbage. My Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. I don't like it because it's too yucky. It's too, um, 
it's a plumping lip gloss and I hate that. This is the Milani Keep It Full. This is the Luminoso. This tastes funny as well. It's expired. The MAC Lip Glass. I'm just not a fan of the formula. And then finally, this um, Well People Lip Nurture Hydrating Lip Balm. I used it in one project and it was great. And then I used it in another one and it had already gone off. Well People is considered more of a clean brand. So it will go off if you don't use it like you're supposed to. So word to the wise. Okay, and then a lip crayon that I'm getting rid of is this um, Chella lip crayon. It stinks and it tastes funny, so I'm getting rid of that. And then last but not least, I have four lip liners that I'm getting rid of. Same thing. These have been in my collection since like 2010. They're the unique lip liners, and I'm, I'm trashing those. Bye! All right, um, perfumes. I had gotten an influencer box to test the Tom Ford Oud Mineral um, perfume, and I hate it. I hate it. I think it's disgusting. If anybody wants these, they can have them. <laughs> no, I'm going to put them in my um, classroom bin to declutter. I, I don't like these at all. They stink um, to me. They're very woodsy, and... Um, I usually don't mind woodsy, but this is like super strong woodsy. It made me sneeze. Enough of that. I'm, I'm just, they're going. I have um, makeup removers. I only use these when I film. I don't typically buy, I tried to use like micellar water and cloths and all that. And they just don't work very well. So I went out and bought like an economy size baby wipes and those are working really well. And then I don't feel terribly guilty because I'm not using them all the time. I have two Shiseido um, cotton rounds. I love these. You're going to see that I have a little bit in my haul. I totally have run out, so I'm glad that I got more in. Um, okay, hair products. I have quite a few hair products. I have gone through um, a shampoo and conditioner from Not Your Mother's. This is the Activated Bamboo Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Clarify and Detox. It definitely clarified my hair. It got rid of, like stripped it of everything. And that's what I like in a clarifying shampoo. So that was great. And then I also went through this Goldwell Shampoo and Conditioner in the Rich Repair, my hairdresser. Um, uh, these are for color protection. My hairdresser recommended them to me and they were lovely. I really, really enjoyed those. So those are those are out. Um, my Kinky Curly Curling Custard Gel is done. I used it, I put this in a pump with some water to thin it out because this is a little bit too um, thick for me and I didn't really need something this heavy. So, and I plus I hate dipping my fingers into jars. So this is done, I'm very excited about that. And then I have my, let's see, I have two dry shampoos. This one is from Chlorine, it's fine. I would repurchase it. Um, this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo, I don't like the smell of it. It's too strong. It's like, I put it on in the morning and I was like, eh, like I don't know, something about the smell. It was just too, too strong. And I felt also that it didn't do enough to abate the oil in my hair. So I was like, not only does it not work very well, but it's also the scent just drove me nuts. I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. This is done. And then this is another declutter, the Kenra Smoothing Spray Ultra Fine Blowout Spray. This made my hair really greasy, no matter how I used it. If I used it before I blow dried my hair as a smoothing spray, it made it greasy. And if I put it in as like a hairspray, it made it greasy. So I'm decluttering this. I talked about this in my, I think A to Z video was where this was for the K. Bummer. I really was looking forward to this working. Oh, another dry shampoo. Dry shampoo volumizing restores oomph to limp or lifeless hair from Batiste. This was good. Okay, I have four deodorants. I have the charcoal deodorant from Native. I have a mini charcoal deodorant from Native. I like both of those. I have, this one is the Sweet Peach and Nectar. It was okay, but I didn't feel like it covered up my body odor as well as other scents, so I would not repurchase this scent. And then I have Sea Salt and Cedar. I really, really enjoyed the Sea Salt and Cedar. So I love native deodorants, as you can tell. 
Um, I have a body wash. This was fabulous. This is the Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter. I was trying to get away from using body washes because of the plastic, but I'm finding that I really just enjoy them so much better than bar soaps. So I'm going to use them more sparingly um, and use my bar soaps more so that I'm not consuming the plastic as much. But when I do purchase one from now on, I do want to purchase a really large size so that I... Um, use less plastic if that makes sense. Um, I have a couple of Epsom salts because now I have a really nice tub and I got through this CVS Epsom salt and then I also got through this one um, is a chamomile essential oil Epsom salt soothe and calm. I got this one from Marshalls. I went through a shave oil. So this is the Tropic Glow Moisturizing Shave Oil from Tree Hut. I love this. However, um, I am going to try the um, Kitsch Shave Bar on recommendation from Amy. So I'm going to try that one. Her channel is Beauty and Beyond, and I really want to try this, that Kitsch Shave Bar. So when I'm done with the other I, I just opened another one of these it was the last one I had so once I'm done with that one I'm gonna get the kitsch one because it's a bar and it's not in plastic like this then I have two scrubs this one is they're both from the bathing garden one is called wildwood white strawberry and the other one is the muffin man they both smell divine I love the bathing garden scrubs um, she's an independent wax and body care um, store and I just love her stuff. So, got through those. I got through this Hemp's Pomegranate Body Moisturizer. I hate this packaging. It's super hard to get the lotion out. I do not really like the pomegranate smell. It's a little too sweet for me, so I wouldn't repurchase the smell, but I love the Hemp's Lotion. And then last but not least for the body, I got through the Molten Brown Lillian Magnolia Blossom Shower Gel, and I really enjoyed that. I do love Molten Brown. Okay, and then last but not least, let's do some skincare. I got through this Kiko Milano Soothing Face Mask. It was okay. It was in two different pieces, but the pieces were too big for my face and they kept sliding down. And it was a really nice gift from Valerie and I loved the serum that was in here, but the masks themselves just kept falling down and didn't really work for me. I got through a ton of little samples. I got through this um, hydrating serum from Dermalogica. It was fine. I got through this um, niacinamide from Paula's Choice. It was fine. The Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I really like this and I'm really glad because I have a full size one in my stash. Um, this C Firma Fresh Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. I didn't notice anything about it, good or bad. I was really bummed about this, this Aquarius Pure Pur Purifying Clarity Cream. This totally dried up. I can't get it out of there at all. So that's a bummer. That's getting decluttered and thrown out. I finished this Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I really enjoy this mask. Um, I like, it's very hard just to find a plain charcoal mask and this one did the trick. I really enjoyed it. I finished up this green apple peel from Juice Beauty. I don't think it did anything. I wouldn't repurchase it. This hydrating facial cleanser from CeraVe. I didn't like it. I did. I felt like it left, left a film on my face and I'm not looking for that. I finished this Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. Mine was a little old, so maybe that's why I didn't like it, but I just felt like it was too watery. Um, I didn't really think it did anything for my skin, so I wouldn't repurchase this. I got through the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People, and this was lovely. I would purchase this again in a heartbeat. I felt like it was such a fresh cleanser. It smells so nice and fresh, like you're at a spa, but like not too strong. And I felt like it was nice that it foamed, but it didn't strip my skin, and I was really happy with that. I finished up this oil-free moisture um, Neutrogena project product. I really enjoyed this and I would repurchase this again. I cut it open and everything. Um, I got through this moisture surge from Clinique. It was fine. I have other ones in my collection and I would totally repurchase that again. 
the Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing gel I love this stuff and I would repurchase this again in a heartbeat I'm not going to right now though but I will um, this takes off your makeup if you're wearing light makeup even mascara you can use this as a first and only cleanse and it works so well I really enjoy that the inky list the oat cleansing balm I'm really bummed that I didn't like this it left a film on my skin it took off my makeup okay but it left a film and I went in with a second cleanse and it was fine but it left enough of a film that I was like, mm, I'm not a fan of that. I have other cleansing balms I like better, but I'm bummed out because this one's in a tube and it was such a better delivery method than ones that are in a pot. So I'm still on the hunt for one in a tube that does a good job. I heard the Paula's Choice one is pretty decent, so I should try that one, but I wouldn't repurchase that. The Well Peeper, People Plant Powder Foliant. This is one of those like the Dermalogica microfoliants where you put the powder in your hands, you put a little bit of water, mix it up, and it kind of exfoliates your skin. This was okay. It was charcoal colored, which wasn't my favorite, but it also didn't exfoliate the way I normally like it to. Um, to have my skin exfoliated so I wouldn't repurchase this one. Um, I finished a Pharmacy Green Clean Mini. I love this. It was great. And I did not finish this Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It smells like Noxzema. It made my eyes sting and then it started making my skin sting and I was like no no no. And then last but not least for the face, I finished the Paula's Choice Exfoliate Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is a salicylic acid. It's fabulous. It's supposed to unclog and shrink enlarged pores. I don't know about the shrinking pores part. Smooth and even skin tone, yes. And it's a lightweight liquid that absorbs quickly, yes. I love this stuff. I get textured skin right about around here, around here, and then on my chin. If I don't use something like this every day now, it, that, that does not go away, the texture. So I am loving this. I also bought, I had two other different kinds in my collection and then after that I'm going to try the Tarte Knockout. Jaylon really swears by that. So I'm going to see if I like that and then I, if I don't, I'll go back to this. If I do, I'll stick with whatever I feel like, this one or the Knockout. So those are all the things that are leaving my collection. If you don't wanna watch what comes into my collection, then I will see you in my next video. Thanks for sticking around. If you are here to see what I brought into my collection, then that is coming next. Okay, Whew, I had to put my hair up. It is like almost 90 degrees here today in Pennsylvania, it's crazy. Okay, so let me get into my, what came into my collection, my buys part money. Um, I have run out of my Shiseido cotton rounds. I love them. And I was on the hunt. So like every TJ Maxx or Marshalls that I went into, I cleared the shelves. So in one trip, I found one. And then in another trip, I found three. So now I have four of these. I really enjoy using them. Like I try to use my reusable rounds when I'm like putting on my makeup and I need to clean up things or clean a brush off or whatever, but I love to use those um, on my skin at night because they're just um, not as rough. So I like that. I went kind of crazy with scents. I, I don't know, but I, I mean, when I saw them, I had to. So this one is from Clean. I got this from TJ Maxx and I'm not sure what it is normally, but you know, Clean Reserve is a really expensive brand. This is the Cell Santel um, scent and it's an oriental green scent. It pairs with Oud, Citron, and Fig. So I'll try it and see if I like it. If I don't, I'll pass it along, but this was $28 and I couldn't pass it up. I got a dupe for the Tom Ford cherry um, scent, and I'm going to see if I like this one. I got two from Sand and Fog. These smelled so good. I got Violet Sandalwood, and these were only $14 a piece, and Pistachio Dream. So I think I'm all set for scents for a long time. Then I was in um, Sephora. And I was trying to get my birthday gift, which didn't really pan out. I wanted to get the points because I didn't want any of the gifts. And they were like, oh, you can only do that online. I was like, what? So anyway, I gave in anyway. 
And I ended up buying this um, Away Hair and Body Mist in the Sensate Barts. Oh my God. I'm bringing this with me on vacation because it is scrumptious. It smells so flipping good. And um, if you can get your hands on this, I would get it. I was gonna get the body scrub and I was like, no, 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 you don't need another body scrub <coughs> because I have like 15. And well, I don't know, I have a lot. And I was like, then I was gonna get the body lotion and I was like, no, 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 you don't like sticking your hands in jars. And I'm like, plus this will last a lot longer. So I ended up getting this. So those are all my, my scents. I got quite a bit. Um, let me move on to the makeup I got. I went into um, Ulta and I got the e.l.f. Glow Revive or Lip Oil. I wanted to try this and I got a new bottom lash mascara from Clinique. And I think my free, yeah, my free gift was the Drunk Elephant. Um you know, polypeptini, whatever, peptide cream, like that we all know. And that, that really made me mad because I went in there and I wanted the lip stain. And it says only in store. So I went in to get it in store and then they were like, we're not one of the stores that we, you can get that. And they had it right on the shelf. I'm like, why not? I was so upset with that. I was like, you know, I'm so tired of these like free gifts coming with so many different conditions. And I've spent a lot of money at Ulta over the years and I'm just like, whatever. So, all right, give me this. So I, I took this. I like this product, but I really wanted to try a lip stain. I've been wanting to try a lip stain. So I told them, put it back. I'm not buying it. I'm such a brat. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't call me a brat. Um, then I wanted to try this cleansing balm. This was um, Andy Does Stuff. She recommended this very highly, and I'm running low on a cleansing balm. In fact, I think I have one in my cupboard and then I don't think I have any backup. So this is my first backup, but this is the um, Rokiss, R-O-K-K-I-S-S, for natural skin, for skin natural cosmetic, one step all in one cleansing balm. And she's shown this many times on her channel, but I'm very excited to try this. I love, it comes with this little cover and a little scoop. So that's nice. I don't have to stick my fingers in it. And you take the top off and there it is. So I feel like that's a really nice way to get at the product, and I was very pleased with that. All right, then I, ha I have more makeup. Oh my God, I'm totally all over the place, you guys. You can tell I have not filmed in a long time, so I apologize because now I'm getting a little wipe, and I'm like, what are you doing? All right, I placed an order Sephora online so that I could get my, my points and there were a couple things I wanted, so I thought I'm gonna get them for myself for my birthday. I'm so proud of myself though, because in the past I would have gone hog wild with makeup on my birthday, and I didn't go hog wild with makeup. Now I might have gone a little hog wild with scents, but those were in different trips in different Marshalls and TJ Maxx's. Anyway, this is one of the samples that came, the Tarte Glow Wand. I've not tried this yet, so I'm kind of excited to try that. Another one that came was the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin sample, and I'm wearing it right now, and I think I really like it. That could be dangerous because I need another foundation and primer, like I need a hole in the head, but they are very lovely. So the first item I purchased was this Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil, and I got the shade Serenity. I'm gonna put this in my one of my projects coming up, but I'm really excited to try this. I wanted to try a lip stain that literally stains and then has like maybe a lip oil or something with it instead of like um, a liquid lipstick. I don't like those. So that is the lip stain and I will take it off at the end of the video so we can see what it looks like. So there's the lip stain. And then I was really excited about this. I really wanted this. This is the Give Beauty Fill in Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo in the shade X Girlfriend. I am really bummed out, you guys saw in one of my videos, about the fact that the Dior Bright Pink um, blush has hard pan. I'm like, you are expensive and you have hard pan. So I wanted to try this one. It's not the exact same shade, but it is along the same lines. It's so beautiful. There they are. Mm. So they're super pretty. Very excited to try this. 
and have this in my collection. It's been on my list for a long time and I just love blushes. I don't know what it is about blushes, but I really like them. Uh, next at a Marshalls, I ended up getting this Kopari Coconut Hydrating Body Wash and it was $8.99 and it was still sealed and everything. So I was like good to go with trying this. I've never tried a Kopari body wash and I heard they're, they're good. I was in the market for another um, exfoliator, chemical exfoliant. So Jalon suggested the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. This is 10% um, acid salicylic and lactic and I like those two acids and I, then I also decided I'm going to get a mini so I can take it with me when I travel. So I'm going to put this over here with my way spray so I can remember to bring that on vacation. So yeah this will go up into my backup store because I'm using, um, I'm trying to finish up two that I have currently. Then I found this um, Beauty of Joseon Re Revive Eye Serum, Ginseng and Retinol. This was $9.99. I had gotten, I had asked for recommendations for um, eye creams in one of my videos and somebody had suggested this. This does not expire until 2027. So I felt good about getting this. It's in a tube, which I like even better because I can't stand sticking my fingers in jars. How many times can I say that? So yay. And then I bought, um, oh, on my trip to Sephora along with the Way thing, I got another glow screen. I really enjoy this product. So I'm going to bring this on vacation as well. And then I bought some more, um, I bought the Unseen Sunscreen Super Goop Play and the Mineral Matte Screen Sunscreen Bundle because I wanted to try all three of these formulas and see which one I liked better. So this is also coming with me on vacation. Can you see like, can you see a trend? Yes, okay. And then last but not least, I got a little bit of friend mail from Amy. Um, Amy Melissa is her channel. She was getting rid of some stuff and offered for me to try it. So the first thing was this Persona eyeliner. I have not tried a Persona eyeliner yet. So she sent this to me. It is in the, a brown, sh oh no, it's black. It's black. So there it is. And it's real, whoa, it is super creamy. Nice. I wouldn't even need to pull my eye, eye open to do that. You know what I mean? Like, eh, I always have to do that. I know you're not supposed to, but I always have to. So that was the first thing she sent me. She then was decluttering this highlighter on a cloud cream highlight from Sydney Grace. And I said, yes, please. I want to try it. I've never tried a Sydney Grace um, highlighter. Ooh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. So oh, there's that. Ooh, oh, that's like a, almost like a wet look. Very nice. Excited. And then she decluttered a couple of um, singles that she was, I think she had doubles of these because she gets the bundles from Sydney Grace. So let me open these up and I will tell you what they are. I should have done this ahead of time. This one's called New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> and it's a beautiful purple color. Oh, and I love purple. I love purple. Oh, they're so soft. I love Sydney Grace's shadows. They're so beautiful. That's a beautiful purple. <gasps> oh my God, I almost dropped it. I almost had a heart attack. I almost had a heart attack. It would have been sad if it broke. All right. Yeah, I got my little baby wipe. <laughs> And then the other shade I got was called Voila, and this is a matte. It's like a uh, ready brown. So here is Voila. Oh yeah, that's like a warm brown with like a red undertone. So maybe a brick red. Maybe could we go as far as to say it's a brick red? I don't know. And then last but not least, she was getting rid of some dry shampoos, so she sent them my way. One was not a dry shampoo, so I already got rid of that because it was actually one of the one a product that's supposed to like hydrate your scalp, and I'm like, no. So one of 
so she did send me this Batiste dry shampoo, so I'm going to use this, of course. I love dry shampoo. But then this one is interesting. She thought this was a dry shampoo, but it's not. It's a dry conditioner, detox dry conditioner from Dry Bar. And it says, weightlessly detangles, softens, and hydrates dry ends between washes. You're supposed to put it on to dry hair in between washes. So what I might do is use this when I want to like brush out my hair before I get in the shower um, between washes because sometimes it gets really detangled or it gets really tangly and then when I go to brush it out it like hurts and you know it's not good to be so rough on your hair. So holy crap. Okay well first of all you guys here is that lip stain. And there's that Persona eyeliner. I'm like scrubbing my hand and it won't come off. That's fabulous, which means it probably will do well in a waterline if you guys do that. I don't, but oh my God, get off. Get off, go. <laughs> all right, so there we go. So that is all the stuff that has come into my collection. I don't think that's bad at all. That's everything in a quarter. Sometimes I would bring in all this stuff in a whole month. So I'm like thrilled. I'm thrilled that I don't feel like I have to count points anymore. I'm thrilled that everything like isn't overflowing my oh the shame drawer which is the drawer that I call my oh the shame drawer because it's like a shame I haven't used you yet. Not that I'm ashamed to have it. Um, but I'm looking around going you know what Kim you're doing a pretty darn good job. So I'm very happy about that. Don't ask about my crafts though because that's another story. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for giving me part of your day. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.